Okay, we'll do a quick little breakdown video as best I can. Press this button, flip this forward, and chop your clip. Should have done that first. All right, when I remove the slide, I don't pull it out this up top because you can swim it. And I'll show you where it hits. So what I do is turn it upside down. Night better control comes right out. You pull it out the other way. Oops. You pull it out the other way. You spajal. You hit these area in here. You swim it and you hit those and it's not as good. Anyways, there's a lot of videos on breakdown. So I'm just going to show you. When you pull this out, twist it up. Ah, let her pop out. There's a flat area. And that's where it comes out. Not on the rounded area, but on this little flat area in there. Then you bring this forward, pop it up, bring it out. And then you can flip this and bring the inner outer barrel out, but I'm not going to do that right now. All I want to kind of illustrate is where and how, what greases I put on there and everything. So I use like, uh, where's this stuff? I use this stuff called Super Lube, and it's synthetic grease. It works great. And what I do is I grease these areas in here. There's little carriers, like where it rides on. I don't know if you can see it, but on both sides, I put grease on there on both sides. And I put grease. These are like locking shoulders on the top of the barrel. I put a little grease on those too. Then I get a Q-tip. I put a little grease on the inside here and inside of the barrel bushings. So when it shoots and hits, you know, it rides in there. I don't put a lot, you know, just enough to keep it lubricated. Put the grease on the guide rod and, uh, and it gets all over this thing. You really got to worry about it. And then, of course, grease the rails here. Here, here, and on the other side too. And that's where I mostly put all the grease. Now as far as the oiling goes, best thing you can get is this little, this little buggeroo. And this you can uh, apply everything nice and nice. And of course you always put some on your seals. Doink, doink on your seals. You put a little on the feed ramp here. If you want to, you can put a little on the inside there. Inside here, I put grease on the on the lock. You can pop it out and get grease on the parts there. There's the trigger. I get it on the inner trigger pivot. There's a rod in there. You want to get it on there. And then I get it inside the frame here, on the side here. And then I look for inside the trigger, the bar, the rod. Put it on the pivot there. And that pretty much lubes the whole thing inside, you know, on this thing too in here if you feel like it. And you can also try to get some in here, but eh, that's eh, kind of debatable. Up here, you definitely, definitely want to put some on your safety. Because when I first got it, it was very, very, very hard to manipulate. And I still don't use the safety at all because it's just, it's just, ah. Uh, I mean, like, to get it to operate. It's a, it's a pain. It flips up good, but, put, but to put it on, I don't really want to risk breaking it. So then inside here, you get on down by the springs and the lower rail. You pull it back. You go for the seal that's on the inside. Whoops. There we go. There's a seal on the inside. You want to catch that seal in there. Get some oil on that. This, the grease all rubs off. I put grease, I'm sorry, I missed that. I put grease in here too, a little bit of grease in here and spread it out. As far as that, that's as good for the oil and the grease on that one. And then, uh, really, that's about it. You just oil all the seals and stuff and everything like that. Like you say, the extra grease, I don't drop the thing in the sand. I don't plan on dropping it in the sand or using it, you know, laying it around and getting it all dirty. If you do, you wipe it out. But I read a thing on the military, and the guy says, well, you can either have a totally dry pistol, drop it in the sand, or you can have a, a lubricated pistol and drop it in the sand. He says it's better to have the lubricated one, because it's better to have lubricated dirt than unlubricated dirt. And if you shoot a lot, it's your own damn fault for ruining it. 
And then when I'm done and I have everything to gather out, I'll put some of this on a cloth and I'll just wipe everything over all the all the fingerprints off all over the frame and everything. And I put it in the box. It's just like brand new. There you go. Okay, when I start, I start with the magazine hanging down so it doesn't keep compressed against here your gas part, your gas cylinder, whatever it is, the gas seal. And I leave it on half cock so I don't need pressure on the uh, firing pin and the, and the gas mechanisms and all that. 